Greetings, it's March 13th and we are going to, today, um, we're going to be redoing some of the wiring, a little bit of the wiring in the wing. Um, I didn't include it on the last video, uh, I'd done a, a couple segments on the on talking about some of the wiring and I'll just real quick. Um, this is the landing light wiring that we got and this is a two conductor 18 gauge wire that um, we originally were going to use a vertical power electronic circuit breaker uh, and that was going to control the wig wag on the landing lights and if you don't know what that is that's where the landing light on each each end of the of the wingspan um, you can have them alternate on and off like a school bus and that's called wig wag it just makes it easier to for people to see you when you're flying um, for other traffic. So the vertical power is going to handle that. So all we needed for that was just the two conductor, uh, the two conductor wire out to the lights. Um, but if you don't do that, then there, the lights have their own built-in wig wag function that you can wire up with a separate switch. Talking to um, an avionics uh, person that has been doing panel builds for experimentals for over 20 years. Uh, that's what he does for a living. He's very highly experienced. I asked him about vertical power, electronic circuit breaker, and he kind of he kind of cringed a little bit. He said they're they're not bad, but he's a little bit concerned that they still have multiple single points of failure. He said they they work great, and he said if we're not planning to do any IFR instruments or uh, any get the airplane certified IFR then he said it'd probably be okay but he did have a little bit of a cringe on it um, so the impression I get from him is that maybe the technology is not all the way there yet at least not for his comfort level and he's probably who we're gonna have do our panel in the airplane um, so I decided to uh, switch back to doing a standard traditional circuit breaker panel in the airplane. So what we have to do now is, whoa, we have to replace this two conductor uh, 18 gauge. We're gonna replace this with a three conductor plus a ground wire um, to go back to the cockpit where the panel is gonna be. So we'll get that rewired there. Um, what else are we doing today? We're going to install the truss fittings uh, onto the truss for the strut so that we don't have to try and get those fit in there once we get the skin put on after the fact. We're going to mount our pitot tube doubler plate onto the rib. We're going to install the temperature, outside air temperature probe wiring that's going to come in here and then. Um, out into the wire bundle. Um, we're going to, uh, what was the other thing? Redo the grommets. Redo the grommets. We got the grommets on for the, the pitot tubes here. I, I did a grommet in the original plans for the RANs. They have you just do a safety wire loop here, do a couple turns it, and then do a wire loop and then just tie in the pitot tube. Um, I didn't like that wire directly against those tubes and against that tape so we put a grommet in there and then wire, put, did the wire around in the channel of the grommet. Well that this grommet's I think it's too small so when we wired it, it it squashes it out and it's already um, we notice it's already cracking the the rubbers already cracked on the top and on the bottom so we're gonna replace those and just keep those round uh, but that just prevents chafing in there so we're gonna do that get those replaced and anything else you can think of off the top of your head? Oh yeah. We had to get uh, some replacement rivets for that, uh, that rear spar um, where that, they had specified the wrong, the too short of a rivet. So uh, they owed us 210-43 um, uh, rivets. So we got those in. And then while I was at it, I just ordered 
just a, a bundle of extras uh, because we do have some that we've had to replace the CCPQ, the stainless 43s. We've had to replace a couple of those. So I just picked up 10 of those, you know, 50, 50 um, of these rivets, 50 more of those, uh, 100, another 100 of the Dash 41s. Uh, so we got those in. So we'll just uh, dump those into the stock. I got did the order on the replacement wire for the uh, landing lights. I've got the ground wire here at 18 gauge, did 100 feet of that, another 60 feet of the three conductor 18 gauge. We got our um, wiring redone here, so we've got the the three conductor 18 gauge uh, along with our 18 gauge um, ground wire going back, and uh, my wife color coded the wires, so we've got uh, so we know which wires are which when we get over to the end of the other end of the wire harness for that. Um, so we've got that all identified out. So we've got. This stuff ready to go. I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a grommet in here uh, to pick up these two wires. And what else did we do? Replaced all of that. Uh, redid that wire. And we installed. Uh, I, I did a grommet here for the the wiring for the pedo heat. Um, so it comes out here. We get a little strain relief here, and then that will wire into where the pedo is installed right here. Uh, the other wire with the purple on it is the outside air temperature gauge wire. And I'm just running that along with the, the tubing for the pedo and the AOA um, for that. I didn't want to run the, the pedo heat wiring alongside the tubing for the pedo just in case I don't know in case something should go wrong and this wire gets really really hot I didn't want it to damage that tubing in there so we kept those separate and um, we put it into the loom here and then out through that okay so yeah so we've got um, we've got our uh, OAT temperature probe uh, wire we've got that running along with the uh, pedo and AOA tubing. Uh, replace these grommets in here. Those uh, other ones that were in here were 
uh, pretty, they're kind of small and uh, they kind they got rounded out and started cracking already. So I just got these uh, grommets in here, just leave them round and that should, uh, that should keep them keep them in good condition. We got that coming into the wire loom with uh, all the other new wiring coming out, uh, coming out the wing root and um, kind of got it laid out here for right now. Um, like I said, my wife did the little bit of color coding on the wire just so we can tell what it is when it comes time to put it all together, but we've got that, got that wired up. And uh, another nice day today got the hangar door open and uh, like I said in the last one uh, it uh, sure does attract visitors as uh, quite a few people that have uh, that uh, stopped by um, to check things out uh, the guy that owns the super cub that's in here they're out doing some flying today another uh, like I said another nice day out here so we're kind of by ourselves but had a few visitors Going to uh, do a little bit of a filing on on this mast right here. When the pitot mounts in there, it doesn't quite. There's a bevel edge on that pitot, and it doesn't quite match up with that mast. So I'm gonna do a little bit of filing on that. We'll get that uh, flush fit before we start doing other stuff. So this, uh, this Gretz mount I've noticed is just a little bit, a little bit sloped. The cut, when I cut this mass, it's sloped a little bit this way. So there's a little bit of an uneven mount on that, on this pitot. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna just maybe grind that down just a little bit more. So we got this, got this ground down. Had to take it to the bench grinder a little bit to straighten out this, straighten out this mast. The mast was uh, cut a little bit crooked on the end, so we fixed that. Beveled it in, beveled a, or put it ground a bevel into the inside edge of this to match the bevel on this this pedo here. Well, we're done up here for today, and um, just a quick, I guess, a recap on the things we got done. Um, we did get our strut mounts put in. That's uh, getting those ready for uh, when we put the skin on. You don't have to have them in here. It's just it's going to be a lot easier to have these in here before we put the skin on than than wait till after the skin is on to do that. I think. Um, got our mount doubler riveted in. Got that done there. Got uh, our grommets redone for the pedo and angle of attack. Uh, sensor redid those so that those aren't uh, aren't getting smashed and cracked um, we got the cable pulled in for the outside air temperature gauge and we ran that along with uh, pedo lines 
We did, oh, I added a grommet in here for the uh, pedo heat. Uh, so it's, we got kind of a strain relief in there, then that'll come over down here to, uh, to, co to connect with pedo heat. Um, so we've got that so that when the wing is, when the wing is in the right orientation, the other way around, it won't be hanging or it won't be riding on anything and chafing those wires. So we did that. Got our uh, new wire pulled in for the landing light. Got that done and did the same thing here. Added a grommet just on some safety wire uh, hanging off this rib so that it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't chafe on that, that wing stringer there. Um, oh, we got the holes drilled to mount the pedo to the mast. We got the holes drilled for the pedo where it goes, where it mounts onto the mast and then reprimed, uh, reprimed that. So that's about ready to go. So that's what we got done for today. And um, the next trip up here, uh, I think we're, I think the next thing we're gonna do, we're pretty close. We're gonna put the bottom skin on. We're gonna Clico it on, um, check everything over real real good. We might have to do some slight modification where the skin, the, the slots in the skin where it comes over across these arms here and also across that, uh, that tie down ring there. Um, if they're, if they're rubbing on there, we'll have to just file a, a little bit of the, little bit of that material away on the skin. So it's not in contact with those. Um, but, and I'm, Pretty sure we'll have to do that, especially I, I know when we initially fitted up, it was it was pretty tight on that tie down. So we're probably gonna have to do a slight, just a little bit of filing on there with a flat file. But um, other than that, we'll be uh, we'll be ready to uh, rivet the skin on, um, and then once that's done, we'll be let's see got. Got to uh, got to finish the pedo mast. Got to rivet the nut plates onto that, um, and then got to figure out the two bending for the uh, pedo, and get that figured out how that's going to go. So that's where we're at now. Um, hope hope this video is. Uh, I hope it's shorter than the last one I did. That last one I did, I cut sections out of it and it was still, I think, 18 or 19 minutes long. So we'll see if we can make this one a little shorter today. But, so, uh, yeah, if, uh, you, if, if you like the video, please uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Uh, I appreciate the views, comments, and questions. And, um, yeah, have a good evening. And um, that's it for now.